Uh, the health ministry's sources have revealed some information exclusively to CNN News 18, saying that at the moment the government will be giving an advisory and not making the norms mandatory. The guidelines should be followed voluntarily by the public. That is what the health ministry has to say. Sources are further claiming that the situation is good at the moment, not making rules mandatory. For more details, let's quickly go across to Pallavi. Pallavi, clearly going by what the health ministry sources have to say, the situation is not one... Uh, which needs to panic at the moment. Yes, yeah, so the main word coming in from the government is don't panic. We are well prepared in terms of infrastructure yes. facilities, in terms of health facilities, hospitals, medicines, vaccination, all that is taken care of. Taking a cue from what the Prime Minister said at that video conference yesterday, an advisory has been issued that mask up, wear your mask in public places, in closed enclosures, uh, uh, so mask up, that's one. Those who have not yet got in for a precautionary dose, do go in for those vaccination. Of course, the biggest problem remains of passengers coming in from, say, China or in America, where they had seen a spike. We already have been reporting how that uh, tracing mm. and uh, mandatory random checking at the airports has already been put in place. So essentially, the government is trying to reassure the people that there is no cause to dampen your New Year cheer uh, by panicking. Which is kind of good news, Pallavi. Having said that, important talk about why the BF.7 variant has been a cause of concern for China compared to why it is not really a huge concern for India. Do throw light on why is it a cause of uh, concern in China at the moment. See, uh, uh, you know, even the health experts say that what's happening in China is not what's going to happen in India and their vast yes. differences. First of all, China had a very, very stringent lockdown system and suddenly they opened up and they were not well prepared for that. That's one problem. Second, the vaccination which China went in for was not considered to be up to the mark. They had refused to take vaccination from others as well. And therefore, uh, there are two problems over there. One, the vaccination not being very effective. And the second important thing is that not many people have got vaccinated, which of course has created problems as far as China is concerned. So every health expert, in fact, every time we spoke to anyone from the government in the parliament, they kept on telling us that please don't panic, don't create a situation where you compare yourself to China. They're completely different situations, but we are not letting our guards down. Speaking